Hey everybody, so today I'm going to give a little bit of a review on all the different makeups I've used to cover my burns. All of you know I have severe burns to my face and my body is 78%. And um, so I'm going to give you a little bit of info on all of the products I've used, what I like, what I don't like, etc. So, okay, so I'm going to start by showing you the foundation that I've used the longest. Um, it's more of a theater makeup, any kind of theater makeup, full thickness or full coverage to medium coverage makeup will work. Um, I've kind of strayed away from the theater mattes. They're a lot thicker than some of the other ones I use. The very first one I've ever used is Cinema Secrets. As you can tell, I've used this quite a bit. Um, what you do um, is if you call them and you tell them that you heard about this from Parkland, I believe. You get a free, uh, you get a discount. See, that's how much I've used. I've used this quite a bit. Um, it's in a very small canister. It doesn't last very long. Um, so you want to make sure that you get the color best fit to you. Um, because if it's not best fit to you, it might not cover as well. It might make you seem like yellow or, you know, a color that doesn't suit you very well. Um, the next one that I was introduced to was by Cover FX, which actually, um, I was introduced to a mineral powder first, which honestly I didn't like because you had to use a lot of it and it took longer to go on. Um, if you don't have very much scarring on your face, it might work well for you. Um, but I really liked the Cover FX, um, just cream foundation and, um, I used two different colors. So this is, my first one is uh, much lighter, I've used quite a bit of it actually, um, and it's C50, you want to make sure that it's suited to you, mine's more of a pinkish now, um, more of like a beige, cover effects. Um, I actually got these free by attending an Angel Faces Retreat, which I have not attended um, since last year. Um, this one works pretty well. It's kind of the same thing with Cinema Secrets. You do have to use quite a bit of it. I use a foundation, or I was using a foundation brush like this with it. Um, it works pretty well. Um, I've used a thicker powder foundation uh, brush, and it works pretty well, but they do leave a lot of streaks. Um, but when I get further on to the makeups that I've used, I'll show you another brush that works really well with this kind of makeup. Um, the next one that I was introduced to was, it's more for, um, like, the people who mostly have, like, the, the wine spot stains on their face. Um, I was introduced to this at Angel Faces also. It's Oxygen Ticks, and, um, it works really well for the red, not so much for the yellow, I believe. Um... But it depends. I mean, you can try it. Another one that I was also introduced to was Cover Blend. And it works pretty well. Both of these have a uh, SPF in it. It's really good to use. Um, it's full all-day coverage. This one works a lot better. I, I think um, you can try it. It's more of a liquid. Both of those were. Um, the next one that I was introduced to was, I believe it's Derma Blend. Um, Derma, yeah, Derma Blend. Um, they come in a canister that lasts quite a while. It also has an SPF in it. I believe all of these that I've showed has one, but it's not a bad idea to um, actually put lotion, uh, suntan lotion on your face before you put it on by Derma Blend. I believe it's like $20 if you order it. You know, like all of these makeups, you want to make sure that you find a color that fits you well, that fits best with the natural tones you have. Like right here for me would be great. You know, you don't want to match it to the red. Um, later on, I was uh, I learned that if you get a face primer, um, I, this one is called Skin Prep FX. Um, I mean, any skin primer would work best. Um, it, it kind of substitutes for a lotion, um, although it does not have any SPF in it. It helps let the makeup stick a little bit better. Um, you might want to still put on the SPF under it and let it sit for a while. Um, then I went to get my makeup done for prom and they used a full thickness by MAC on me 
um, and they seem to work pretty well. Um, the only thing is with the one that I own, it's not full thickness, um, so I learned that I have to use this on the more skin tone color here, and then use more of the full thickness one here, and then blend it really well. Um, this works really good around the eyes and lips, I believe. Um, see, I mean, I haven't used much of it. It's more of a lighter coverage, so maybe like an everyday coverage. Um, I have been experimenting, I've noticed, at Walmart and other places. Oh, one more. This is also by Derma Blend. It is a full body makeup, although I do like to use it on my face every now and then. Um, and I believe all of Derma Blend's full coverage does have SPF in it. Um, so I've been experimenting with some makeup that has been at Walgreens, Walmart, HEB. The first one that I began looking at is by CoverGirl, and, or Maybelline actually, and it's the Instant Age Rewind. And I just played with them in the store with the testers to find the color that suits me. And it has like a sponge, and you know, you twist it, and I really like it. Um, it's medium to full coverage, which is nice um, because you can put less here and a little more here and it looks more natural and more smooth. It helps. I've noticed with the full coverage makeup, it you can really tell where the lines are when you put it on. With this line, you can it smooths it out a lot better. Um, I like that one because you don't need a brush with it. Although they have another one that's it's the same thing by Maybelline, but it's just a pump and it has some serum in it so you don't have to use the primer. I like this as well that you do need a brush. Um, I started using, because I liked the brush that was on the first one because, you know, it was more of a sponge, and sponges are hard for me to use with my hands. So I found this kind of sponge, it's like a foundation sponge, it's pretty firm, and I'll just kind of put the, the foundation on something, like a hard smooth surface, and use it, and then just dab it. Which later on, um, in my next video, I will be showing how to use each of these products in separate videos. Um, the one that I tried next that I also enjoy is by Maybelline. Also, it's the Dream Smooth Mousse, and it comes. With, it's also medium to full coverage. It works really well. And with all three of these products, well, all of these products really, you're going to want to put a finishing powder. Um, with the Maybelline ones, I just use the Dream Matte Powder, and it works really well using a mineral brush, mineral powder brush. Um, I really like it. I've uh, used several different types of powders. I've used Jane. I've used the kind by Cover FX. Um, I've used all sorts of powders. Really, all of them work. Loose powders, pressed powders, anything. You know, and you just want to cover it to where nothing feels sticky. And always remember to go down slightly on your neck. So that's all of my makeup. Um, I will show you a finishing shot of all that I, all of the foundations that I use. Um, and of course, I don't use all these at once. And some of the colors vary depending, you know, I say that some of them is my summer look, some of them are my winter look, depending, because some of them are slightly darker than the others. So, um, yeah, that ends it. Um, remember to subscribe to my channel, um, tell your friends about it. Anyone who has any kind of facial scarring or birthmarks, it covers birthmarks really well, all of these do. So, um... Yeah, subscribe to my channel and try out these products.